Once again, guys, we're here at the Philadelphia Arm Wrestling Team practice. After practice, we're with Jimmy G. He's in the house, the Italian Stallion. Finally! Sponsored by the Stallion is here to do his team interview. Steve, take us, take us, take us down a trip down the rabbit hole with you. Just let you know. Where the hell can I put this? I'm gonna hey, in your mouth. Okay. Let's do it. Great, great. That makes other pizza taste better. Yes! Listen. How did you how did you find Philadelphia Arm Wrestling? Well, I went to his club here in practice. Found it <laughs> one of your flyers in a Wawa. Shows up. You found a flyer in Wawa. Found a flyer in Wawa. Which one? I did one tournament in Watson Town Inn, won 165 Pro. It's the only thing I ever did. The guy I beat, I forget his name right now, but he's, he won that like 15 years in a row, but he was old when I won. So it wasn't a big deal. Fast forward, I meet Steve at Daydreams of all places. <laughs> Call that one. <laughs> Steve says, I sign up for pro. Steve looks at me and says, are you sure you want to do this? And I said, I fucking won one already, ain't no big thing. First match of all time, Joe Schaefer. Oh. Fucking. Smoked you? Smoked the shit. <laughs> smoked the shit. But after that, I talked with him afterwards and I got with the team and, uh, Fell in love with the sport fairly immediately after that. And you started training every week? Every week. Funny story about the first time I got done training. I was working out with them for maybe an hour and a half. Get in my car. And I was really scared. You ever done a lot of forearm thing? Uh, curls and you blow up? Mm -hmm. Well, my shit was so blown up, I thought they were going to explode. I couldn't drive for a while. Probably 25, 30 minutes. Put my hand one fucking wheel, took this hand, put on another fucking wheel, and I said, now what? And I couldn't fucking drive for like 30 minutes. I go right to Wawa, two fucking bags of ice, and for a couple weeks, I was in a lot of pain, but it's been worth it. You get used to it after a while. Yeah, we we trained a lot. You came out, every week came out. We used to train at Powerhouse. We used to do two training sessions. Remember that? Yeah. A couple years ago, we used, to, we used to go, it was a Tuesday night we did Powerhouse, mm -hmm. and we did... We did, was it, what did we do, Saturday at Powerhouse? And I we remember did, it was me, you, Susan. We did Monday nights. Who was the skinny dude? That was um, the Paul, Paul Martinetti. Paul Martinetti. Where is he at? I miss that guy. He, he showed me a He's lot. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's definitely coming back. He went to Paris for like a year. COVID thing kept him over there, I think, a lot for a long time. He's back in Philly. He came back in July. But uh, I think he's still scared of COVID. <laughs> After I, did I kept that, I kept telling him it, it doesn't really exist. I have it right now. He's just an <laughs> after, after that first turn, I started to watch that game of arm show. That's when it really sunk in for me. Which is funny because now when you watch it, now when you watch it now after being in the game and you can see everybody in a different light. Yeah. It's like damn, I fucking knew this guy was in. It. I didn't even you know it was like Steve Black. I didn't even know he was in it. <gasps> are you him. are you super matching uh, Derek Doble? I saw some uh, some chatter about Derek this. Doble. Yeah, I told him when I when he won that I was surprised. I didn't think he was going to win. Uh, some people think that Johnny Blaze wasn't as big a win as yeah, I thought it was. Johnny Blaze. But I thought it was a big yeah. win. And uh, oh, I, yeah, yeah, I'm very yeah. I'm very interested in facing Derek on early 2021 for sure. Yeah, come on, let's get serious. See that bottle of vodka right there? Pick it up. Can I drink it out of the bottle or is that COVID shit? Not no, you can't drink out of the bottle, dude. Just pour, just pour listen, it. listen, 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 listen. There's a cup. There's, yeah, Look there. how beautiful that bottle is. How much? How much is a bottle how much, of shit? That's fifty dollars. You know how much of it is the bottle? Probably forty-seven fifty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's good. The bottle actually costs eleven dollars. That bottle was completely. It's not that good. It's not that, that bottle. Steve, can I ask you a question? That's organic, dude. Can I ask you a question? Listen, I can see the hair growing on your head right now as we speak. <laughs> it's just not in the middle. Throw him one of those wigs. What wig? In, in the back. What? You give him some. Give him some hair. You got a hair wig without listen. a mask? Listen, <laughs> give it to me, please. listen. You bring that bottle home to your girl. Throw it to me. This that is the is... kind of bottle that you take home to. 
when you're trying to impress. So. Oh. Oh, oh my God. God. Listen, Ryan, give me the dildo. Jimmy, we found your toy. <laughs> Listen, Ryan. Don't leave that at practice anymore, all right? What's the of it? I want to ask you a question. What the hell? Yeah. See, gold lock vodka makes you grow hair. <laughs> Dude, you look amazing. Yes! <laughs> Why is this thing here? <laughs> Ryan. It's a, it's put it in the middle of the table. It's a it's an it's apparatus. A... <laughs> <laughs> Are you using this thing as an apparatus on show, the table? Show us how you would use it in the table. I, I said I brought this up. Listen, I, let's do it. Let's go. I brought this up in the live feed. Let's look at this thing here. Let's, let's do it. There's nice. someone on this earth. <laughs> Dude, does he look like Lino for the Thundercats? <laughs> Yo, hold that up and say, Oh, Thundercats! Wait, 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 I'm going to do He-Man with the sword. What does he say? <laughs> I have the power! <laughs> That's what he says. Back to the task at hand here, Brian. <laughs> this took a left turn. Jimmy G, yes. what's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show? Just throw it. Chappelle show. Yeah. What? Chappelle. Can you do a Chappelle like impersonation? Eric Andre? You look like an Eric Andre right now. Huh. Who's? Who? You ever see his, his uh, what? Look him up on YouTube. You'll like that one. You ever see that? What else you got? Do so you have any talents? Look at that Eric Andre. Show. What makes you you? Fucking hilarious. Steve, that is a question that's going to take many hours to answer. Because uh, get in line trying to figure this guy. Is that the kind of hair you had when you had hair? Your dream. Your dream. <laughs> I had the kind of hair. Instead of wearing the hair spray, in, in 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 middle school and high school, I used to put the activator on, and I would lean up against the wall, and there'd be a big old like, on the wall, like soul glow. For sure. <laughs> like for Jerry girls. Fuck yeah, boy. <laughs> Fuck yeah, my hair was curly as shit, but if you put your hand through it, <laughs> shit got stuck. Shit was nasty. So you jumped in the pool, the shit was still curly. Oh, when I jump in the pool, it looks like someone just dropped a can of oil in that motherfucker. It's all fucking kind of shiny. Steve. Can I ask you a question, Steve? Anything. What's your favorite workout song? Dude, I work out the Blade, the Rave soundtrack. Yes. That shit's awesome, man. Yeah, it's funny. He's been you've been working out to that for a long time, and I saw that Should song. I, I feel like a woman on a John on a, a John Merzink tournament video. Yeah, that song, dude. That shit comes on. I'm fucking somebody up, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh my pizza. <laughs> oh my pizza. My vodka. I'm fighting this dude. Steve, tell us about the Coliseum arm wrestling. How did that get created, and where did it come from? And uh, go ahead and do that first. The Coliseum League of Wrestling came from uh, the love of the sport, number one. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I laughed.